I see. So this is a hell. This is what they use then to destroy their enemies. Ah, it's coming back to me. How could I have forgotten? Yes, this feeling, this urge, this will to kill. In the first Darkstalkers game, players could choose to play as 10 different characters but had to face two non-selectable boss characters, a common tradition with many fighting games at the time. The second of these was neither from Earth nor the demon world Makai, but rather an alien from another planet. Early designs for this character varied greatly, but they all shared a common flame motif. The general notion among the designers was to have him be an intelligent life form made up of energy at least partially composed of flame. This character would come to take the form of a devil-horned humanoid ghost covered in flames and be known as Pyron. According to Haruo Murata, each character in Darkstalkers had their own different reasons to fight, so the team felt that one massive boss to aim for would give the game a much-needed sense of unity. Pyron is someone who is prideful, arrogant, and very fond of a challenge, as he likes to test himself against other fighters in hand-to-hand -hand combat, especially supernatural beings like the Darkstalkers, with whom he has taken a particular interest. He could shapeshift his size to match that of his foes, contort his body for many attacks, and fly or teleport at any time while using his mastery of fire and celestial energy against them. <laughs> Chiron comes from the planet Hellstorm, whose size largely surpasses the Milky Way, and whose civilization was founded on war and the survival of the strongest. Following many eons of combat among his peers, Pyron evolved to become a cosmic entity, capable of increasing his body size to the span of light years, controlling fire and consuming entire planets, which he did for over 200 million years. Despite his range of power, Pyron is not without weaknesses, as he must feed on other worlds in order to maintain his power, otherwise he will become weaker over time from using too much energy. Also, because his body is composed of pure solar energy, his power can be absorbed by those who can also harness and absorb energy of their own. <laughs> Let's play. 65 million years ago, Pyron came across Earth and chooses to reside deep within the Atlantic Ocean and wait for the planet to develop stronger life forms in order for it to fully satiate his vast hunger. In the meantime, Pyron creates an army of robots known as Huitzel to monitor the planet and destroy any life forms they come across. By the time he awakens, Pyron calls out a challenge to all the creatures of the night who sense his presence and fight each other to get to him. Being the final boss in the game, Pyron is inevitably said to be defeated by whichever character the player had chosen. Throughout many early adaptations of Darkstalkers, Pyron served as one of the main antagonists who is eventually defeated by either Dimitri who consumes him or Donovan with the help of Anita. It has also been said that following his many battles with the Darkstalkers, Pyron accepts his defeat and decides that Earth is not worthy of being consumed, resulting in him leaving the planet and traveling to another galaxy, leaving open the possibility for his return in future games. Pyron first became a playable character in the sequel Night Warrior's Darkstalker's Revenge, but would be absent by the time of Vampire Savior, along with Donovan and Huitzel, possibly due to the lack of memory on the original arcade board. He later reappeared in the console version Darkstalkers 3, as well as Vampire Savior 2 and Vampire Hunter 2, where he once again appeared as the final boss. Pyron has made few appearances in Capcom's other fighting games, but his most notable one was definitely 2004's Capcom Fighting Evolution, where he served as both a playable character as well as that game's final boss. Given his presence in so many adaptations, Pyron's voice actors have also had a history of portraying multiple Capcom characters. For instance, Richard Newman, who provided his voice in the American TV series, You are curiously attractive for a fish man, was also the voice of M. Bison in the Street Fighter TV series. This is delicious! Meanwhile, David Kay, who provided his voice in the Japanese animated series, Those who have overseen the history of this world are blind to their own mistake. It is I who am the real form of this world's future, 
would go on to become the voice of Jedha Doma in Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. You shall live on as part of me. While Pyron may not be one of the more highly regarded characters in Darkstalkers, let alone its most popular boss character, <laughs> that hasn't stopped the developers from wanting to place him in more games where he wasn't just in the background. Pyron's unique character design still allows for a wide variety of gameplay possibilities, making him an outstanding addition to the Darkstalkers roster and a more than worthy adversary in every game where he is prominently featured. So let the fire awaken once more. Let the land ring with battle. Let the blood flow.